Hey everyone and welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian. The other day I was sort of clicking around on the internet and I came across this really awesome helicopter and I thought I would share it with you. It's called the K-Racer. It's made by Kawasaki, at least Kawasaki is experimenting with this platform. And what's really unique about this is it's powered by a motorcycle engine. Kawasaki makes a thousand cc, I believe it's called the H2R. It's a thousand cc, 310 horsepower motorcycle. And they've used this motorcycle engine in this helicopter. The K Racer, Kawasaki researching autonomic compound to exceed rotorcraft, which is an unmanned helicopter equipped with a supercharged Ninja H2R engine. This is a compound helicopter with a main rotor and two propellers for forward movement. The purpose is to cancel the torque caused by the rotation of the main rotor while producing forward thrust. In forward flight, the main wing also creates lift, reducing the forces on the main rotor and allowing higher flight speeds than most conventional helicopters. For the first flight tests, the unmanned helicopter performed a vertical takeoff, a flight around the airfield, and ended with a vertical landing. This test was performed unmanned and controlled autonomously. Kawasaki reports that the information obtained from the development of their K-Racer helicopter will be used in the future creation of high-speed manned and optionally unmanned helicopters. The engine being tested was developed by the Aerospace Systems Company and derived from the supercharged engine of the Kawasaki Ninja H2R motorcycle. This engine is a 1000cc dual overhead cam, 16 valves, and can produce a maximum of 310 horsepower at 14,000 RPM and peak torque of 121 foot-pounds at 12,500 RPM. The supercharger is driven by a series of gears and shafts, connecting the flywheel to a planetary drive, spinning a dog-shifted two-speed shaft attached to the impeller. Rider control is throttled by wire. Before we get too deep into this, let me thank our sponsors that make all of this possible. Great companies like Airworks, Airtech Coatings, Acme Aero, Clemens Insurance Agency, Stoll Creek Aviation. So take a moment after this video to say hello to all of them and remember to check out the affiliate links in the description below. And remember, just build it. Let's get back to it. So if you're new to aviation here, or at least new to a certain segment of aviation called Stoll, there's been a really popular platform building with Yamaha and people putting not a motorcycle engine, but a snowmobile or sled engine into aircraft. Hey, did you see how fast I was going? So in the Stoll type of flying, there's this Yamaha that's gotten quite popular and the base model is about 150 horsepower. It's a four cylinder, again, taken out of a snowmobile. There has been a big fuss over these Yamaha sled engines. Yamaha is known for making quality racing machines. The Apex and the RX-1 now being used in aircraft. There's been lots of modifications done to that. There's a company that does some work to it and adds a turbo to it. And they're seeing something north of 300 horsepower with the Yamaha. So I just figured I'd share this option 
with you all today, but is it really an option? I checked out the price tag for this H2R bike, which you'd have to find, you buy the bike brand new, or you have to find one used. New Kawasaki, of course this is a limited edition bike. Kawasaki is charging $55,000 for this very unique motorcycle. I believe you can get one of these Yamahas reworked with a turbo, 300 plus horsepower, uh, right around the $20,000 mark. So, you know, that seems like a high price, but looking at this Kawasaki at 55, now all of a sudden that Yamaha looks a little bit more affordable. So there's this guy, his name is Steve Henry. Again, if you're new to the aviation scene, this stole thing that you might want to check out. There's a couple clips here showing Steve and his Yamaha powered um, Highlander. And he's done very well in tuning this thing to be a very high performance aircraft. There might be some other manufacturers come to market with some options for us, whether it's something that is in another vehicle, like a motorcycle or a snowmobile, but it looks like there will be some other options for us experimenters and experimental aviation to play with in the future. And if you are currently building something or experimenting with something, please leave me some comments below on what exactly that you're working with, what other engine options are available that you are looking to install into your aircraft or considered installing into your aircraft. Again, leave a comment below. Be on the lookout for future episodes. I'm putting together an engine series and I'm gonna call it Engine Week. Something I'm gonna do every year moving forward where I'll go out and interview these engine manufacturers to showcase everything that's available to you in production at this moment as an option for your aircraft. So look forward to the Engine Week happening here on this channel. All right, everyone, that's the show for today. Thanks for tuning in today here on this channel. If you haven't already, I invite you right now to hit the like button. Very important, hit the subscribe button as well. Helps me get some more sponsors and for me to make more aviation content for you. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.